How's it going, cool dudes? My name is James Games, and welcome to Concrete Tremor. Concrete Tremor is a short experimental horror game that is about plastic explosives and Soviet apartments, apparently. It is a game where the story is told from multiple different perspectives and points of view, which I thought was a very interesting take on a horror game. Sounds really cool, sounds very interesting. But without further ado, let's start. I can't wait to see what it's about. Oh. Oh, I guess I don't need to talk then. Would you look at that? Oh, that plop did not sound good. Oh, wow, this is super creepy. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is really creepy. I do like the art style, though. Like, it's so, it's very simple, very, uh, grainy it's just creepy looking you know it's got like that industrial look to it why do they talk like that Ugh. I should check the roof yeah, yeah, totally listen to the guys that's got the AI voices and stripped from their individuality and are prisoners just like you. That's a great idea. Well, so long, boys. I have to be going. Wow. It looks really good, though. Like, I like the way it looks. It's creepy. It's unsettling. It's, almost, it's, it's unpredictable feeling, you know what I mean? I, I, I can't really explain it. Ugh, it just feels like anything could happen, and these dark corridors are just, ugh. Okay, we can't go down, there's an invisible wall there, so that's good. At least I won't get lost. Ugh. It's very spooky. It's just deprived of any color, you know? Ugh. Well, it says you should check the roof, so I guess we just gotta keep going up, right? That, that's... It's the only thing I would think, right? Oh, here we are. We're on the roof. Oh my gosh. Are, is this the actual outside? What's that noise? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, a helicopter. Please save me. This place is terrifying. Get me out of here. Players? Players. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to see what it means about the multiple perspectives. Oh. turn uh oh that is so weird your turn buildings 25 uh supposed to be a code here wait oh i see i see now i see Okay, so we need like a number and then like a letter. Okay, so, okay, that's 10. And G. Oh, we got one. Uh, we somehow got another one. Maybe. No. 10 G and H. Uh, hmm. 
8 e8 oh oh I'm kind of confused as to what have what's happening oh Oh yeah, those guys are dead for sure. Oh, your turn. Hmm. Or. Hmm. Then a. And B. Oh, can't do that one. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, kind of guessing a little bit here. Uh, what row have we not hit? We haven't hit four. Four. Oh. 4B? No. 4A? 4G? How about 5G? No. 6G? 7G? 8G? I haven't did 3 at all. Two A. I sure hope I win in destroying buildings that a lot of lives are in. So they're in F7. F7. Still trying to understand which one's letters and which one's numbers, so you're lucky. Uh, what about... A1. No? Okay. Uh... We got one of those. One, two, two, four, one. Firing at blanks here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. B3. B3 is one. D6. 
H7. I9. J10. J4. So it's literally just a game about killing people. Oh, not too shabby. Need to get more on the right side. Like... Or a or B. Hmm. I did a one. G. Uh, G eight. G nine. G ten. Come on. I hope we're getting some progress here. Okay, that's pretty decent. Only well, got five buildings left here. One A. Two A. 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, 8A. Uh, 1B, 2B, 3B. Hope this does something. Oh, hey, it did. Should be all the buildings, right? Yeah, game over. We got all the buildings. I think we won. I don't know how, but we did. Wait, I lost. Hello everyone, James from Editing here, quickly wanting to explain why James in the video that you're looking at right now is so confused on why he lost. He didn't know that he was playing a real life version of battleships, and he also didn't realize that his ships were actually the apartments in front of him. He thought he was supposed to blow up the ones in front of him and not on the other side of the wall. Thing to express, he has never played battleships before, so that is another reason to why he has no idea what he's doing in this video, and pretty much to why he lost. Now to quickly explain, even though he did loss, no matter whether you win or lose, as far as I could tell, there is no other endings for this game. So even though he lost, he kind of won in a way because there's literally, it doesn't matter if you win or lose in this game. Uh, the same ending I'm pretty sure is the same no matter what you get, which you're about to see right now. Bye. Uh, what are you gonna do with that gun, bud? Uh, Um...
Okay, well, I'm very confused. I have no idea what that was. It was more of a psych psychological horror game, I'd have to say, more than anything else. Uh, very interesting, very unsettling. A little bit too short, though. Could have been a little bit longer, have more context. Just seemed like a, it seemed like a very weird way to, a very abrupt ending than most. However, very interesting. I did appreciate the art style, the, uh, the music really helped with the atmosphere too. I, I, I did enjoy it. It was a decent horror game. Like it's a nice, it's a refreshing taste from the usual jump scares and like, you know, creepy monsters that you fight, you know, in these types of horror games. I, I always like it when there's a little bit of variety and like more meaning to the horror, like psychologically. So I appreciate that. I, I admire that. Anyways, thank you, cool dudes, so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to click the annotations to see another video that I've done. Please be sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream every single day, Monday through Friday from 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you'd like to come chat with me, say hi. We do a bunch of variety stuff over there that's a little bit different from the stuff I do here on the YouTube channel. I strictly do horror games and I might do variety later on, but... For now, it's really just horror games, but if you'd like to talk to me live, watch me live, and uh, see some of the variety games that I usually play, you can check it out there. I'll put a link in the description below for my Twitch channel. Again, thank you everybody so much for watching. It means the most. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.